What's going on here? What is going on? Am I Active doing something planks. this time? Well, you wanted to teach, we talked about a plank recently, and you wanted to show the difference between a plank and an active plank. You know what? Uh, what is the difference, Sal? So here, uh, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> okay. Justin. And now I'm gonna show you. So here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Please uh, demonstrate. Everybody thinks uh, planks as being this just this isometric movement, but there is a way to do planks to make them an active movement, to be able to, to go take the muscle through the eccentric, contraction and the concentric contraction, not just the isometric. Yes. So you'll get a full range of motion with your abs. Active planks are an excellent ab workout. You're gonna get a lot of activation in the abs and it's not just a stabilization movement. So now, basically you, you're doing reps now. Before you, do doing the, reps. before you do this, would you consider this more of an advanced move? Of course, because getting into this position is very difficult for most people. To be able to get into the two positions you're gonna see me in when I demonstrate. So let yeah, me show you what I mean. So. I got a lot of heat for demonstrating a, just a stationary plank with my tailbone tucked. Okay, right. so let me explain that first. Because the shearing yeah, forces so, are so extreme. So, so you'll see a lot of people do a plank like this and just hold. This is a hip flexor plank. Most people's hip flexors are very active. I teach people to plank here. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the core. You're going to get more ab activation. So that's the isometric part of the plank. Now here's the active part. I keep my body here. My upper body stays tight. I let my hips drop. So I let my... My pelvic, my pelvis tilt anteriorly. Then I come up into that posterior tilt. I let it anterior tilt, posterior tilt. So I'm literally lifting myself up with my lower back and crunching my abs, mm -hmm. and then going back down, letting my abs lengthen, and then coming up and squeezing again. These are much more difficult than they look, and if doing them right, most people can't do very many reps. Well, that's I've why seen I, them done a lot the other way, right, where we get into a pike position and then back to no, this quote-unquote neutral spine position. No, come, go yeah. all the way down so the upper body stays up, bring the hips down slowly, come up and get that. So, when I, and you, can, you might be able to see it better if I'm standing. You know, when I come down, this is the lengthened position, because here's my abs, right? Yep. They attach at my lower rib cage, they attach at my pelvis. When I'm on the floor, they're lengthened. When I'm coming up, I'm shortening, I'm squeezing them. Mm -hmm. So this is, what's, this is what's happening. Remember, muscles, when they contract, they shorten. That's what we want to happen. If I don't change this at all, I'm just moving up and down. Now, why I said it was an advanced move, because you've got great hip control here. Yes. And this, this is a, a definitely advanced, because not a lot of people, I, I, how many times have you guys ever stood with someone and actually tell them to, to go here, and here. Yeah, just just, just just try doing that. Just try do that. just yeah. try Let's isolating uh, the you yeah. know the, the uh, anterior tilt to posterior tilt. Very difficult. Yeah, you need to learn to do and this. And it's not just a dance move. This this I mean, this yeah. works in the clubs. It looks but, great. Yeah. It works Mo in the salsa club. Most <laughs> people, when I first tell them to do that, and they they see me doing that, they they think the, you're crazy. Yeah, well, they think they think they arch their back <laughs> yeah. to get your pelvis forward like that. Yeah. Where, so getting that control first of your hips, of hip extension and flexion is important because mm -hmm. that's the progression to that. First, you have to be able to take that movement and be able to do that just standing on your own and then taking it where now gravity is yes. coming down on you. And, and if you're, once your form starts to break down, you're done. Because I could do a lot of reps, but without good form. Right. Once you start to notice that you can't squeeze the core at the top and get that pelvic tilt, Stop. you're done, rest, and then repeat. But this is easily one of my top five ab building exercises. It's absolutely one of my favorites, so. Excellent, active so, play. There Coming you go, more accurate. Right there.